going on YouTube in this tutorial, I just wanted to talk about the exact function in Microsoft Excel. So what does the exact function do? Well, the exact function allows you to test if two pieces of string or two numbers are exactly the same in Excel. So to show you what I mean, how to use this function, you use it equals exact, or in parentheses, and then the first argument is text one, so or number one, just today, and then comma, it, another today, in close parentheses. And as you can see, returns true, these are the same, but one thing to note is that the exact function is case sensitive. So if this today is kind of not capitalized, it will return false. Now, we have number ones right here. As you can see, they're different, but sometimes they might not have all decimal places that are in the number, right? So these look like both like one right here. And as you can see, it returns false. Why? Well, as you saw a second ago, this is one, this is 1.001, 0, 0, 1, not the same number. Going down, five and five, well, they're the same, which exactly returns true. Apple and Apple returns true again because, you know, they're the same word and also it's case so case sensitive. So Apple and Apple return false if you the first A is in lowercase, not capital. A18, 818, 2023 return true. Again, Excel restates this number. So the exact function will return true. But what about the NA function? As you can see, they both equals an A. They should be the exact same thing, right? Well, not according to the exact function. Because the exact function does not work with error functions in Excel. No worry, you're thinking, well, why would I use the exact function? Well, one of the key reasons is you're trying to run checks. So if you're trying to say, like, hey, 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 you know, is this total equals this total? Exact equals exact. Are they exactly the same? You can run a check with that and see if just make sure your stuff's all matching up. Also, you can you can use this to make your functions a bit cleaner. So to show you what I mean by that, it's an S exact function, if function. So if exact you know, if the exact of that and that equals true, if I can spell true, lol, comma, return one, comma, return two, or, you know, is exact, is a true and then not exact, is a false, right? As you can see, because they're, they, they're exact, is function return is exact. But it's going up a little bit more. As you can see, it returns not exact. Obviously, this is a simple example. But the thought process of the exact function, you can, you can nest in other functions and write stuff that's a little bit cleaner, a little bit smoother. So, hope you found this to be helpful. Let me know if you have any other ideas on how you can use this function below. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day.